Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of Holt's linear trend method in R. And we are going to use total annual air passenger data for Australia starting from 1970 to 2015. And uh, I'm going to use the data for only during the period 1990 and uh, 2016. So let's go ahead and extract this data and call it air. And if we plot this uh, data on a graph, we'll see there is a clear trend in this series. And remember, simple exponential smoothing method that I discussed uh, previously, it is suitable for a time series with no clear trend or seasonality. But here in this data, we see there is clear trend in the series. So a suitable method in this case is Holt's uh, linear trend method. To apply this uh, method, we are going to use this uh, function Holt and uh, the first argument is going to be our data set which is air in this case and the next argument is our forecast horizon which is five periods uh, ahead that is we want to forecast from 2017 to 2021 so let's go ahead and uh, run these commands and uh, look at the results and we say that uh, these are our point forecasts so looking at um, these important parameters the first is the alpha parameter and remember alpha determines smoothness of our trend and in this case it is very high it is 0.83 which shows larger variations over time and less smoothness and remember the closer alpha is to zero the more smoother the series uh, of fitted values is but here it is relatively closer to one as compared with zero the changes over time are large and the series is less smoother and uh, it also shows that we are assigning more weights to the most recent observations and the weights are decaying very rapidly that is we are assuming that the most recent observations contain more information about our variable of interest that is air passengers in australia as compared with the earlier observations although we are using uh, 1990 in our forecasting but we are assigning a very low weight as compared with the, some of the values observed in uh, 2010 or 2015 so we are assigning more weight to the most recent observations as compared with the earlier observations here and then our smoothing parameter for the trend is uh, essentially very close to zero which shows uh, less weight uh, to the changing level and more weight to the previous uh, trend so this is based on uh, the trend equation so essentially what we are assuming here is that um, the changing level is less uh, important uh, to determine our uh, slope as compared with the, the previous slope that is our previous slope parameter it is more important as compared with the, the changing level or changing state that we estimate here and these are the initial states this is l0 that i showed you in one of my previous videos and this is uh, our estimate for the trend or the slope of the trend so this is how you estimate uh, holt's linear trend model in uh, r and this method is essentially suitable for a time series with a clear trend and we use this hold function and we estimate uh, our forecast we can also plot these uh, forecasts on a graph and as shown here we are assuming that the trend will keep on going in the same direction indefinitely so this is a forecasts based on holds a linear trend method bye bye